hello hello guys uh here we have an hp all right it's not uh it's turning on i mean it's not turning on according to to uh to owners so let me show you what you have to do when you are repairing an hp uh laptop so step number one connect the charger as always right and you have to check there if you do have a light there we go we do get what a light since we do have a light it means it's charging and the first thing that you have to check now press the power button when pressing the power button the machine is not turning on at all let's go ahead i'm gonna reassemble this machine uh step by step and then we'll take it from from there all right okay after opening the machine this is what i've noticed so far the power button is the one causing a problem i'm not sure if i did uh notify you when i first started to diagnose this machine power button was too loose i don't know what's wrong i haven't checked the power button but it's too loose wrong with the power button you have to go through it but first let me show you that the machine is working 100 percent this is what you do you connect your charger we have to check for the 3.3 .3 on the power button see I want you to see check the multimeter sorry change the multimeter to 20 volts we have 3.3 we do have 3.3 now multimeter to wood okay so you put one prop to ground after changing your multimeter to continue to move. Then you on the machine. Okay, it's not turning on. Okay, there we go. The machine has turned on the problem is on where it's on the power on the power button so let's go ahead let's check the power button remove this let's put this aside all right all right all right okay where's the power button power button so what you do remove this then let's check the power button guys exactly as i told you the power button is faulty so i can remove this put it aside let's go ahead let's check the power button let's check the power button okay guys this is a power button it looks exactly exactly like this so now in order to do this we have to cover up the the, the, the diode when i'm saying by when i'm saying a diode i mean the lights not the, the lights the, the leds are a diode right so let's cover up the diode the lights have to tape the entire thing tape the other one so that it won't uh won't move or i have to buy a pcp holder i think a pcp holder will assist me much more better okay so there's the trick now the trick here is when you are removing this you have to use uh around 200 and something uh a tree of heat not too much heat 200 would be fine because we don't, we, we, we 
don't have to bend this thing right so we have to be very careful when we are removing this thing without bending this one or oh, we can bend this one but without bending what a new one so we have to be very careful i have the new one here the new one let me see is it the same size i think it's the same size you can see it's big but now wait i want to check something Okay, guys um done i'm done i'm done i'm done so now we have to confirm to confirm it's easy you'll press the power button and then check for continuity on the other side on the other pins but first let's clean uh let's clean this what do we need we need uh, alcohol after alcohol All right, guys. To check the power button, it's it's much easier. So what we do, you will have to ask someone to assist you. How it's easy. Okay, there's a continuity. There's a continuity. So what you do, you will touch ground and positive, and then someone needs to press the power button for you, and then listen for a continuity. If there is a continuity means it's working so scissor will press the power button there yeah boom it's fine there is continuity meaning it's working 100 percent let's put everything back together 